Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to In Your Face Gaming. I'm your host Recruit, playing as Brand. On the blue team we have Wukong, Vi, Akali, Thresh, and Draven. Over here on the purple team we have Rokuro, myself as Brand, heading off. We have Lee Sin, Jax, Deanna, and our favorite Ezreal, playing as our ADC. For those watching this, I would like to know a little bit about Brand. I always start off Welcome playing with the Adora's Ring Rift. and the two health potions. Gives you some stability, so some sustain, and a couple of health potions just in case you get unlucky. Blue heads off. They're trying to go ahead and start that blue. Looks like they're going for an early leash. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Our very own Lee Sin heading out. He's going to start with our early red. For those who are wondering about this game, this is our very first commentary. The new frash with LL replay. And as we watch, as nearly dies here, um, we warned him in the back a couple of times over Skype, but. He's feeling adventurous and brave and doesn't really want to listen. And he, I think he almost dies. Um, or he absolutely does die. I'm not sure, certain. Um, um, he gets pulled into it. But that's right. He gets saved with the barrier, though. Um, very close. I highly encourage y'all, if y'all are ever pulled out like Thresh like that with that driving, do not let him get you. Um, it is not worth it, especially as early in the game. goes up here versus Wukong. Um, I seem to think that this fight favors Jax since Wukong has his melee character and Jax just seems to devastate him every game. So i um, pretty sure this game is going in our favor ever since we saw the matchups. As you can see here in mid, Akali um, is not doing too well even when she goes to this one that's a circle of hers. She's untargetable, but that W Rance is still able to get her the area damage. And as you can see, she's just burning left and right. So it's really not a good game for her, and uh, you'll see that progress throughout. Gonna be something you see a couple times throughout here. Kong goes right underneath the tower, uh, thinking he can escape, and the tower usually ends up picking him off. Up here, you'll notice that I'm using my mana very conservatively uh, when we're against the Kali. Um, you know, I have a lot of mana regen at this point, and some of the spells cost a lot, so it's important that you conserve that energy and uh, just make sure whenever you hit, you hit. Now. 
that's the, one of the reasons why a lot of players recommend using Flash. Um, it is your get out of zone free card. I should have had wards over here in these two spots. Just didn't go back to get them because I felt like I was doing really good with the colleague. Um, that could have gone very bad for me, especially if I didn't have that flash. So always make sure you have that if it's a spell available, it needs to be one of your two. So right here you can see I stunned her and then I was able to burn her to death, even though she was going to that damage over time six. Down the bottom we have that and Ezreal fighting Thresh. Thresh is really good with that landing hit with an extra shield. Um, you can't really overstate the abilities that that thing has. I mean, it can get your allies to you if you're running away. They can feel like they can engage and things go wrong. It's the extra shield for damage. Like souls. It's just really good for them overall. Here, Vice coming in again. I use my key on her and then Seer get her stun in place. W on her with AoE damage. You're gonna see that she's gonna try to chase me back to my tower, but she's not going to. Um, Kali's already learned twice now that I can see her once it's been lethal and she gets caught underneath the tower and she's stunned right there that she's going to die. So she backs off. The good thing about that for me is I'm able to hit here and collect some cream score on it. Um, if you play any sort of AP character you're going to know that the ability powered uh, things such as death class, uh, rabidons, cost a blood ton of gold. Notice right there that while she was invisible, I was able to cast that AOE on her and did in fact hit her, so she was able to do damage on that. Another thing you see is while she's backed off because she's been scared from the early death, I'm over here collecting CS and leveling up. She's still level 5. So that's going to be something that helps me flow later into the end game. Um, she's going to be under level 10, underfed with the gold. She's have a hard time keeping up at this point. Over on bottom, we can see that Vice chasing is the Indiana. Uh, she wasn't able to catch him, which is lucky for the purple team. Um, but she is going to help us back and help Bob stay in the game a little bit longer. Back right. over to mid, we see that Holly's going to be back in the tower. However, she's still getting hit by the rain. Uh, I'm also able to bounce the fireball off some minions which are on fire and it knocks her down. Uh, which is another thing, the man is on fire with rain bolt. It automatically bounces to a champion of champions in range. So that's a bit of luck and that it bounces further back and not closer uh, to me. But ultimately, it ends up burning her down and she doesn't make it back. So I can see Vi or anyone else that thinks they're going to come and gank me. Uh, it's really just a good idea, period. Top should also probably have one in this little grassy area here. Same as bottom when they have one either down here in the bush or a little bit up further toward the dragon. You always want to be aware of your surroundings because the most dreaded thing you can think to have to do is a gank. And uh, you can be doing really well pushing your lane, loading that and the next thing you know, all four of them are next to you. Uh, hit their MIA. So you just want to be mindful of their surroundings and not rely on your teammates all the time. So you can see I have my wards up. That gives me some pretty good sight range. Be able to see by the time. She sneaks out in this little area here, still aware of it. 
she tries to sneak around, but I can see her, so I go ahead and back off. Um, I can't see her, get out of there with another flash. Um, like I said, you cannot overstate the ability of flash and how useful that is. Jack's back. You're gonna see, we see a, we just catch her by a bit watching a collie head north. Um, we decide to stay in mid. I'm gonna get some creep score. Um, then Lee Sin goes ahead and coerces me to go up there. So I'm like, okay, I'll go follow you. For those who are new and they want to, hey, they already got Baron. Uh, Baron did not spawn yet. It doesn't spawn until a little bit later in the game. I tried to chase Wukong down, um, but I'm noob and didn't get any boots. So I was going for straight ability power at the time, and I didn't need it fighting Kali. Uh, so he ends up getting away for now, but then I head him off. Um, I'm able to see what he goes in there. Black Ray, hit him with the spear, killer flame, and I, and uh, he kind of jukes me out at first. I wasn't sure which one was him, but then, uh, the ignite ended up burning him down anyway, so I didn't have to worry about it. Got the kill, survived, a little bit of health. Uh, Jack still has me up here and get a golden kill up. Uh, so I have to do that. If you're off the move up as a brand or any other AP, I suggest you take it. Especially
especially if mana is a big priority for you. Um, lowers the cooldown, gives you the extra mana regen. You really just can't get a better buff on here than that, uh, aside from the Baron, of course. Unstoppable. Go ahead and just start off the gold difference. We're 6,000 ahead of him. That's pretty good. I have a couple extra, so I go ahead and get F Fine Tomb and Haunting Guy so I can build Yonder's Torment uh, to get that extra damage over time for my spells and abilities. I still have the Dorrance Ring, it's a really good item overall. And um, I really suggest just keeping hold of that as long as you can until you need something better. So as you're able to see there, I was able to uh, migrate her and then hit her with the or stun. Go ahead and keep trying to push both her and Mook back. Um, I don't know, this is a normal game, it's not ranked, so they may be new players. Um, you always just want to watch out when you're facing somebody who has the ability to stun you and do that much damage at once. Because you're not sure, uh, especially with Brands, what he has up his sleeve. Between his abilities, uh, the damage over time, passive, and the ignite, and the fireball, um, you can. First damage is just insane. Down here at the bottom we have uh, Thresh still trying to grab him. Ezreal's holding his own now, uh, which is good. Sorry, too bad. This one gets pulled in, but it's okay because Ezreal is out of Watching that, I was able to get a Kali again with another fireball. Um, I go down here thinking I can help. Lee Sin kind of chases them away. I'm like, uh, I'll go down here and push for a little bit. And then I realized, like, as I get close, that they really just run away. I was like, oh, it must be warded because they're not coming back. So I end up heading back top after realizing that I've been found out. And uh, I wasted a bit of magic in there. Wasn't sure if they were in there or not. And the last thing you want to do with a AP character like Brand is just check the bushes with your face. It's just not good. Um, it's a bit noobish of me to warp out right here because they do have that uh, ward. Didn't know if they could see me or not. I didn't know it was there. Um, but if they had been close by, could have ganked me. That would have been bad. I do try uh, helping out after all the major fighting is done because I suck. Uh, I realized that Wukong came down, and so I go ahead and focus down Rush. Rush. I'm able to deep and get that fireball on him. Probably didn't need to use my ult, um, but you know what? Have ult will burn. So I got the kill out of it and didn't die. I'll go ahead and head back so I can get some better items and uh, continue pushing. Over on top lane, Jax has just been annihilating Wukong. Um, 
He's only level 12, so he's a level under me, but pretty hard, pretty high compared to the other team. Uh, the lowest that they get their highest is 10. And uh, Jax is just gonna sit there for a while, uh, stay hidden, and make sure no one else is around. Lee Sin heads back to the middle, try to fight off the volley. Um, he's been a pretty good juggler. Um, I haven't needed him much, but he's been helping out some of the other I sit there. So I hope you enjoyed the game, and um, if you have any questions, hit me in the comment box or check us out on Facebook at In Your Face Games on Facebook. Thanks. Bye.